Don't become a development manager. Okay, before we start, you know the deal, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I want to hear what you have to say, whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong, and feel free to connect with me on Twitter or LinkedIn. Okay, so you're a senior team lead at your company, you're making good money, you've got a master's degree, people respect you, but you realize that you're never going to go to the next level because your current engineering manager has been there for years and he shows no sign of leaving. So you think to yourself, I want to get promoted. <laughs> You work your butt off and never get any recognition. You're never gonna become an engineering manager here. You should switch companies. That's the only way you're going to become a manager and get a promotion. Hey, I'm sorry I'm not on your right shoulder. I'm working from home today as I'm waiting for Comcast. Listen, uh, if you take a job at an outside company as a development manager, engineering manager, you're really risking your career because you're going to be sandwiched between two competing priorities. You're unproven to upper management, so they're not going to respect you or understand your capabilities. And odds are the people in your development team applied for the engineering manager position and got rejected in favor of you. So they have no reason to see you succeed. Uh, it's called the sandwich of anger, and it's why development managers don't listen to him. He doesn't know what's best for you. You're different because you're so smart. You're going to be the exception. <laughs> so let's take a look at Craptech. They're a medium-sized software development company in Maryland, and uh, looks like they're going to be needing an engineering manager soon. Uh, Joel, your engineering manager, is uh, no longer with the company. Uh, I'll be signing your timesheets. If you have any questions, my door is always open. And everybody's like, Hey, Rianne, any idea what happened to Joel? I think he pissed off Janet. I mean, that's what I heard. He, he just pissed her off one too many times, and that's it. So then the job gets posted, and your internal candidates apply. I think I deserve it. I know the most about the system, and the engineers really respect me. <laughs> <laughs> So three months go by and this happens. All right now everyone, um, I want to introduce you to your new manager, uh, New Joel. Uh, new Joel comes from Super Tech. He brings uh, about 15 years of experience and uh, you know, I want you to all to uh, take some time out of your day and welcome him to the team. Circle back Jack, I'll do 100 for nine you months. You got it, Ray. I'll do 100 for six months. Do you take Venmo? Now the honeymoon period doesn't last that long because this happens. Both tickets need to get done, Joel. Both tickets need to get done. I don't see why this is so hard. Well, if you want that feature, that's fine, but we need to pick something here that you want to lose for next sprint. The whole thing is about not exceeding our velocity. You want me to lose something? How about you lose something? How about you lose an eye when I shove this Louboutin into your eye, Joel? Both tickets need to get done. And then, we need to talk about Joel. What he's doing, it's not gonna work. You need to bring him in or we're gonna have a problem. Now the vice president of IT might have your back once or twice when you're just starting out, but the fact is that they're probably in their 50s with kids in college, so they're not gonna sacrifice their job for you. So then it's like... Sit down, listen, Janet didn't like the way you spoke to her yesterday. Are we agile or are we not agile? Because she wanted Stop. to push... Listen. People don't like the way you're approaching upper management. I, they think you're disrespectful. You need to tone it down and go along. Are we along. agile or are we not agile? Because Janet See, wants that's to push. See, that's it. That's the tone. That, you're doing our it with velocity. me. We're agile, but if Janet asks you to do something, it needs to get done. So do what Janet tells you to do, but also be agile. What the? You just have to figure it out. So now the engineering manager starts going along to get along, and then this happens. Can I talk to you? Joel is making us do extra tickets and it's really bringing down the morale of the group. And now you're screwed. And then three months later, it's like, uh, <clears throat> thank you for coming. New Joel's last day was today. He's no longer with the company. Woo! Yeah. I called it nine months. Pay up, circle back, Jack. iPhone 13, here I come. If you've been through three engineering managers in so many years, the problem probably wasn't Joel. The problem is something I call the sandwich of anger. So this is the org chart for Craptech. It's your average small to medium sized software company. The uh, directors are all up here and the uh, engineers are all down here. And the development manager is right in the middle. This is the sandwich of anger. Now the engineering manager reports to the director of IT. 
Now, the director of IT is in a really bad position. They probably have kids in college and they're probably making too much money to get a new job. It's tough looking for a job after 50. So the director of IT might protect you once or twice, but they're not gonna burn a bunch of political capital and risk getting fired to save you. So now the development manager is in a really weird position because the people up top just wanna see work getting done. They don't care about the conditions down below. And the people down below get really upset because the engineering manager is pushing them to meet the conditions of the people up top. And the engineering manager is stuck in the middle between directors who want to get stuff done and developers who want to maintain a schedule and quality. As you advance in your career, you're going to start getting emails and messages on LinkedIn from recruiters who want you to jump ship from your current company and go to a different company as an engineering manager. And it's going to be really, really tempting because you want that money. And this is how you get fired. Look, I know this is going to sound like Game of Thrones, but entering an organization as a manager with nobody on your side and no political capital is a recipe for disaster. Now, there are exceptions to this rule. If your current company offers you a position as an engineering manager, take it. They're probably doing that because they know you're going to do a good job. And if a former coworker and a friend of yours has become a director of IT or a director of operations at another company, and they ask you to come on board to run their development team, then yeah, that's probably a pretty good political situation as well. And if you get a call from a recruiter for a new startup and they need you to form a team, that's a pretty good situation as well, because then you're hiring people who are loyal to you. But taking an engineering management position from a recruiter that's cold called you is just asking for trouble. Good luck on your next interview.